can matter change its state? Dear students, matter is everything around you. Matter is anything made of atoms and molecules. Matter is anything that possesses mass, occupies space and the presence of which can be realized by one or more of our life senses. In most cases, a given substance, matter, can be made to exist in any one of the three states under different conditions of temperature and pressure. Thus, all the states of matter, that is, solid, liquid and gas, are interconvertible, that is, they can be changed from one state to another by heating or cooling. For example, water exists in all the three states, ice, solid, water, liquid, water vapor, gas. Ice on heating is first converted into the liquid state and finally into water vapor. Effect of Temperature on States of Matter Dear students, matter is everything around you. Matter is anything made of atoms and molecules. Matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. The process in which a solid state of the matter is changed to a liquid state usually by applying heat is called melting. The temperature at which a solid melts to become a liquid at atmospheric pressure 760 mm of Hg is called its melting point. The process of melting a solid into liquid is called fusion. Effect of temperature change of solid to gaseous state Dear students, A solid has definite shape and definite volume. A gas has neither a definite shape nor a definite volume. When a solid changes its state to a gas and vice versa, without passing through the solid state, the change of state is known as sublimation. The reason that some solids can undergo the process of sublimation is that they possess relatively high vapor pressures. Effect of temperature change of gaseous to liquid state Dear students, Condensation is the change of the physical state of matter from gaseous phase into liquid phase. The process in which vapor is changed into liquid is called condensation. The condensation of water vapor is an exothermic reaction, so the surrounding becomes warm. You may have seen water droplets on the outer surface of a glass containing ice-cold water. 
these droplets are formed due to condensation of water vapor present in air. Effect of change of pressure on the state of matter Dear students, pressure is the ratio of force to the area over which that force is distributed. The physical state of matter can also be changed by changing the pressure. Gases can be liquefied by applying pressure and lowering temperature. When a high pressure is applied to a gas, it gets compressed into a small volume and when we also lower its temperature, it gets liquefied. So, we can also say that gases can be liquefied by compression and cooling. Evaporation Dear students, evaporation is a type of vaporization of a liquid that occurs from the surface of a liquid into a gaseous phase. Although a liquid changes to a gas at its boiling point, a temperature at which a liquid boils. We know that a liquid can change to a gas at temperatures below the boiling point. If a glass of water is left on a windowsill for a week, the volume of water in the glass decreases because some of it has changed into water vapor gas. This process of conversion of a liquid into a vapor gas without necessarily reaching the boiling point is called evaporation. During evaporation, the liquid absorbs heat from the surroundings or from any other body in contact with it. Factors affecting evaporation of liquids Part 1, Part 2 Dear students, Evaporation is a type of vaporization of a liquid that occurs from the surface of a liquid into a gaseous phase. The rate of evaporation of a liquid depends upon the following factors. Surface area. The rate of evaporation increases with increase of surface area because Evaporation is a surface phenomenon. This is why we dry our clothes by spreading them out. Temperature The rate of evaporation increases with the increase of temperature. On increasing the temperature, the kinetic energy of the molecules easily escape from the surface of the liquid. This is why evaporation is faster on a hot summer day than in winter or a cloudy day. Humidity Humidity is the amount of water vapor present in air. If the humidity is high, especially in the monsoon season, the rate of evaporation decreases as the air is already saturated with water vapor and cannot hold more. Hence, it takes more time for the clothes to dry in monsoon season than in the dry season. Speed of wind Fast moving wind carries away the water vapor on the surface of a liquid. 
As a result, the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere decreases. Hence, more water particles can escape from the liquid and the rate of evaporation increases. We feel relief under a face when we are perspiring. The air from the fan causes rapid evaporation of sweat and during this evaporation the sweat takes away heat from the body. As a result of this we feel relief from the heat. Nature of the liquid It has been observed that liquids such as petroleum, ether, alcohol etc. evaporate faster than water. This is because the intermolecular forces are weak in these liquids than water. The liquid that evaporates faster are called volatile liquids. Evaporation causes cooling part 1 and part 2. Dear students, evaporation is a type of vaporization of a liquid that occurs from the surface of a liquid into a gaseous phase. During evaporation, the particles of liquid absorb energy from the surrounding to regain the energy lost during evaporation. This absorption of energy from the surroundings make the surroundings cooler. For example, when we pour some nail polish remover on our palm, we feel cool. This is because the particles gain energy from the palm and evaporates causing cooling. <laughs>